I got the snake mug out, so you know I'm going to talk about Python. All right, it's about time. Let's talk about Python. In late May, early June 2018, what is the state of the Python programming language and ecosystem? This is going to be a very quick vlog because it hasn't really changed much since uh, 2017 and 2016. Bottom line is that Python is alive and well and is extremely important. It's one of the, are probably in the top three most important languages, programming languages in the world today. I would put Python in the top three, just in terms of use case, job opportunities, and uh, what it can do. I think I'll do another video on the t my top three picks for programming languages in 2018. I'll do that in another video. So anyhow, let's get back to Python. Why is Python so relevant today? It's relevant because it's very, very widely used it's uh, well engaged, huge companies use Python now and have embraced Python, whether it be Microsoft, Google, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Many, many companies out there are using it. The two biggest I'm aware of is, is uh, Google, of course, uses Python a lot internally. Uh, and, um, and Microsoft, actually, Microsoft has actually put out stuff on Python as, as well, so they support Python in their code editor, which is a good one. Anyhow, so Python is basically supported by industry, no question. Python is very widely used, and I believe it's the most popular in the AI world, artificial intelligence and machine learning programming. It's not the only language, but it's, I think it's the most popular. And just that alone is going to keep Python humming for quite a bit. Python is also used quite a bit for server automation, you know, just managing server processes in the background. There's some real heavy-duty nerd stuff. Uh, Python is used a lot in uh, cinema and film production. They use Python to uh, control and script uh, rendering engines that are used uh, to create special effects and so on. A friend of mine is a lead programmer for a company that does that kind of stuff. They do the special effects and they for uh, video games and TV shows and movies and so on. And all he does all day is manages all the Python, all the Python coding that's going on. And they're not building apps with Python, they're using Python to actually control how the rendering engines are working and so on. So it's a bunch of Python scripts all over the place. It's quite a bit of code, but it's all over the place to manage these complex processes. Python is actually used in web development as well, using a framework called Django or another one called Flask, or maybe others. Um, although that's not its main use case, I think. It's used a bit. I think Instagram is Python-based originally. I think YouTube was Python-based originally. I believe that uh, part, well, parts of Google originally were Python. Uh, because it got so big, they had to go to faster languages. The knock against Python is that its runtime speed is pretty slow. But it doesn't matter these days most of the time because computers are so fast that uh, if a language like Python or JavaScript or PHP run a little slower than other languages, the productivity that you get in terms of when you're writing the code, it well outweighs the... Uh, slowness at runtime. But anyway, that's another story. So yeah, Python is used quite a bit in AI, ML, server automation, this automating back office, back office processes. And it's, it's, it's just has spread because Python is an easy language to read and it's kind of a clean syntax compared to other languages. Although that's a personal taste thing. Some people prefer uh, JavaScript, some people prefer Ruby, some people prefer PHP. So, well, I don't know. I don't know how many people. I don't know if too many people prefer how PHP looks. To be honest with you, although there's a lot of people love PHP because it's got a lot of advantages as well. But anyway, so that's the use of Python. It's not going anywhere. Is it a good language to learn? You bet. It's a great first language because it's kind of it's of the major languages out there. Python reads more like plain old English than so many other languages. It just reads quite easily, especially when you compare it to JavaScript, Java, or PHP, or C Sharp, or something. It really is very readable, and uh, closest to English, if you will. 
There you have it. Yeah, Python, good choice. One of the, and again, one of the top three languages, I would say, for 2018.